Okay, here we go. It's time. Oh. <laughs> Nervous. Well, this is it. This is floor one. Good morning. Richard Park. And a lesson that we see it here. Now, each hair that we have it, and this is inside our folder that we will do an analysis here. Okay, exactly. And that will show us how much thick is it, how much strength is it, and also how much thin is it, and wow. everything. All each photo that we take it, after that, our system here that we will be doing again. It's incredible. Yeah, it's amazing thing. Okay, now we will start with the ultrasound. Now, here with ultrasound that we have it here, the ultrasound that will show us the layer of our head. With this layer that we have it, okay, we will know which layer have more circulation of the blood. We, when we know that, this is our goal to put the graft in it. So what that will help us, that will help us to put the graft and that will increase the processing of the, uh, the healing and the growth that we have it. So everything that would be perfect, that increasing the surviving rate for the graft also. Also, we're looking here with the different point. For example, from the front, from the mid, from the also the crown area to see everything exactly. <clears throat> After that, we're looking for the artery and the vein in the neck to see the circulation of the blood also. The right side is very good. Now we will look into the left side. Also, the left side is very good. See the artery and the vein. Mm -hmm. Now, all analysis is finished. As you know, we make it the tricolor, this kind of scan for the scalp, and everything is look good, the, the density. The hair structure is a little bit thin, but I will check again. But the density is not well. This is electrocardiography and it's still good. The blood uh, test, the first one is infection disease, hepatitis B, C, HIV, and syphilis. Everything is good. good. And the second kind of blood is kind of paralyzing test. So we check your vitamins, vitamin B, vitamin D, and we check calcium, iron, and something about the iron, and we check your hormones, three hormones, and testosterone, and it's so good, and we need a CBC test, and everything is good. It's the density in your body as well, but the hair structure is a bit thin. We have some hair loading here, but it's not in the good sample uh, situation. Okay, we can do it right here. You can't do it, can You see, it's immediately empty here. Okay. We will make your new hairline and we will pull up all of this area. This hair here is falling after five years, you will see here nothing. Okay. okay. In the beginning of the Now, we will raise our eyebrows, okay? That to see uh, where exactly the end of the muscles. Why? Because the muscles are we cannot put any graft in it, okay? Because why? Because that surviving rate for the graft that only meets will be for 50%. And also the area of the muscles that is not including too much fat, for that the result it will be not having any good. And also when it will grow up, the area will be like this. And you will not know it.
you can raise up your eyebrow and you can see the end of your muscles here exactly this is the point that you have it here this is the end of the muscles so we will make also zigzag under the line so your zigzag will be in the border exactly in the border of the muscle how how we go ha ha as in h ha a i okay r i r ha uh, here we go <laughs> okay here we go yeah so i'm on youtube but it's just a new channel so ah, okay okay here we go my head is about to be shaved for the first time in my life i would look completely bald Don't go into operation. This is better. Right, you know what? Going to home. I've never ever had a hair cut like this in my life. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, actually. Okay. Finish. Just check. Oh, okay. So what do you think? My new haircut. There's no going back now. Next step, the operation.